let's say, from uh, Era 7 on the sequences team. And uh, I want to tell you about uh, my uh, project. Um, so that, uh, what's that about? Uh, we have several goals. And first, first is uh, to develop a scalable um, generic indexing system for NJ's data. Um, and uh, the second is uh, to develop a general purpose tool for extracting pathway and uh, trans transcriptional networks uh, uh, data from Bi4J, uh, the graph da database, um, and uh, first we want to develop all sort of, sort of um, cool, reusable things uh, along the way. Um, and uh, first, uh, I want to to tell a bit more detailed about uh, first obje objective. Um, we want to index uh, not only text-based uh, things. Uh, because uh, um, sequence data can uh, store some meta information like uh, quality scores and uh, such things. Also, we want to provide uh, different uh, query context uh, and definitions so that you could, uh, for example, ask index about uh, sequences with uh, quality above some value or uh, any other stuff. Um, index should be built uh, online, lazily, and in parallel. Uh, it means that uh, index is built only on demand when you make a query, uh, so you don't need to wait for the whole index building. Uh, it reduces time, and uh, in parallel means that uh, it, it is made on a lot of uh, computers at the same time. Um, parts are separated, and uh, again, uh, we uh, we, need, we don't need to, to wait a lot. And uh, we want to use uh, cloud computing environment for uh, for everything, for index generation, storage, and uh, querying. And we want to use uh, to exploit this uh, cloud environment uh, mm -hmm. as much as possible to use uh, all of these advantages, um, such as ease of uh, deployment and uh, uh, possibility to run as many computing instances as uh, we need. The second uh, goal is uh, extracting information from Bi4J. And uh, um, actually, it is uh, possible uh, right now because uh, Bi4J has um, a lot of possibilities to uh, make queries. And uh, um, the problem is that it uh, uh, requires some additional knowledge uh, of uh, Java or uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, and uh, uh, we want to improve it a lot, and uh, we want to provide uh, um, easy to use interface, convenient, and uh, um, some requirements are easy and safe uh, data distribution and deployment, again in the cloud, um, comprehensive, uh, generic, and well designed API so that uh, um, you can. Uh, make uh, different queries and uh, uh, the goal is to provide uh, uh, any uh, any possibilities of uh, uh, biologically meaning meaningful uh, uh, queries and uh, we want to uh, make this interface abstracted over data representation so that um, there is technical part of how we store data, how we manage it and uh, the user shouldn't be um, shouldn't be worried uh, about it to to make uh, uh, the to make its task. Uh, uh, so uh, the um, point is again bi biologically meaningful constraint constraints uh, parameters uh, for queries, not uh, uh, depending on uh, data representation. So how are we going to to do that, uh, we are going to use uh, Amazon Web Services for uh, all the environment, uh, symmetric monoidal categories with feedback. Uh, this is uh, like a semantic uh, part of uh, all the workflow. And uh, weighted, uh, weighted uh, final state transducers, it is uh, implementational part. And I'll tell uh, a bit more about each of uh, this. So, um, we want to develop uh, uh, 
um, Amazon Web Services uh, Scala API uh, library, which uh, will be written in functional style uh, using dependent types. Uh, and uh, the main goal is make it as uh, type safe as possible. Uh, it means that we want to uh, use as much uh, uh, advantages of uh, Scala programming languages as possible to make it uh, to make the product uh, very safe and uh, provide uh, like uh, theoretical correctness as much as possible. And uh, we are not going to to do that for all Amazon services because there is a lot of them. Only for uh, uh, for the most needed. Uh, symmetric monoidal categories with feedback. Um, this is uh, mathematical stuff from uh, category theory, um, and we want to uh, provide a generic uh, API for programming with uh, these things. Um, actually, this is very general thing, and uh, it, it is useful in any area. We just want to. Um, to study it and use it uh, as uh, yeah, on, on the level of understanding things, how uh, how things work, the things which we develop, and uh, this is very useful for a lot of uh, practical uh, things. Um, the main, of course, is uh, weighted final state transducers, which is uh, the uh, core of uh, all, all the development. Um, what is a transducer? It's an automata, which is a kind of uh, graph, you know, with uh, nodes and transitions, and uh, you can uh, uh, trace it. And uh, um, it, it is an automata with uh, two uh, kind of two inputs, uh, and uh, every transition has a weight, which means uh, like uh, if I'm bored and it is, or any other kind of information, like uh, a graph-like structure with uh, a lot of additional. Uh, meta information and you can do a lot of uh, interesting things like uh, trace uh, it depending on input and get some uh, some result in the end. So um, what does uh, this thing provide us? Uh, first of all compositionality and genericity so that we can use it for any kind of data uh, strings uh, with quality scores with whatever and uh, uh, the main point is that and you have several such transducers, you can compose them sequently or in parallel or in any other way, and this is really useful. Um, it also provides us space effectiveness uh, in contrast to existing uh, structures to store um, sequence data. And uh, yeah, from the theoretical point of view, this is again category structures and uh, um, we can reason about it abstractly. Um, another view on uh, all these uh, things uh, is that we want to develop all, all those uh, usable um, things mostly independently and apply them to the main goals. So uh, the goals may sound a bit ambitious, but they are realistic because uh, um, the development idea is uh, modular and uh, um, components are fairly independent. So uh, just a little bit about what uh, we have done uh, so far. Uh, study a lot of maths, uh, really a lot about category theory because it is really useful for understanding everything. Um, we uh, study Scala and uh, we covered uh, like, um, all uh, basic uh, topics, uh, some advanced uh, we uh, do regular reviews and uh, um, and uh, just apply it a lot in practice. Um, we started developing uh, Scala transducers library, um, Scala Amazon Web Services library, uh, and uh, this is uh, my uh, personal project, uh, which is about uh, managing. Um, any kind of tools uh, uh, with uh, uh, consideration on uh, static uh, analysis, so that you you know in advance that configuration is uh, uh, correct, so it's type safe, 
and you know that when you run like a uh, hundred of uh, computers with uh, these packages, it won't fail. Yeah, so, and uh, this is uh, close to first public release. Thank you for your attention. Any questions?